everybody. Uh, it's never a good day when we when we lose a game in that manner. And uh, the first thing you want to say is you want to apologize specifically to our supporters. And then uh, as, as, as a group, we want to apologize to our chairman as well uh, for not uh, doing what we were supposed to do. But it's, it happens in, in football. And unfortunately for, 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 for KZ Chiefs, it's happened to us this year. And uh, yeah, the boys were not in a good space after the game. It took us a few hours, maybe days, to, to overcome the disappointment uh, from the cup game. But we, we have to pick ourselves up because the next game is sooner than you think after the cup game. I think it's two days, three days. There's no, there's no space in between to to, to, to lay your head down for long. Uh, as 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 football people, as athletes, uh, they have to pick themselves up quicker than you think they are, and we have to help them get there so that they can prepare for the next league game. Coach, just a follow up on that. I mean, looking at how this was so sensitive, I've seen other teams losing to smaller teams before. We've all seen that, but this one seemed to have more impact from the fans, from the management. I mean, some of the management couldn't even talk, which is showing that it's a national index that has gotten this big crisis. Coach, have you spoken to the chairman? What is the talk around the management? Where to from here? Yeah, look, uh, the biggest thing, like we say, is, 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 is recovering from that. We, we knew we, we could get to the next stage. We didn't get to the next stage. That is part of football. And like you say, even I couldn't talk. And the, the, the players couldn't talk less. But it's about us picking ourselves up now and uh, making sure that we go into the next game, which is Swallows versus Chiefs, which is another big derby. It's a big derby coach. And uh, with that derby comes expectations where, where, where one can say, I'm going to use straight language and say it's easy meet uh, because that's where that's a point of redemption because Swallows have not been doing well themselves. I mean, they had to scrape through penalties as well in the Net Bank Cup, and uh, you guys have to face them and bring them home at the FNB Stadium. Yeah, redemption is, a, is, a, is probably a good word to use for, for our team, and uh, we're going to, we've prepared well. I think the boys have, 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 have taken the loss against Milford. Not easy, and uh, we are we are preparing as we speak to make sure that we we take solos to the F and B and do our best. Coach, um, what's been the difficulty in trying to establish the case of Chiefs way? What are the challenges? The challenges are that it's it's simple, uh, not simple, but if you look at it. It comes from the start, and then you go into a break, and you try and fix. It doesn't come right. And uh, but uh, the Kaiser Chiefs way, as far as the league is concerned, I mean, we have not lost in the last five games. Out of fifteen points, we we've, we've gathered eleven. So that gives us a little bit of of, of moment, momentum in that department. The cups. Everything else is a different, a different kettle of fish you, you've got to prepare for. But uh, in the league game, yeah, we haven't lost yet. So we're hoping that we can maintain that vein and improve. Coach, I think one of the positive aspects is that the six clean sheets in the same day in the station. Um, just now, in case they have been a little bit worse than you were. Obviously, your defense has changed a bit with your centre back there. Um, the guys have done really well. Yeah, like you say, uh, six games, clean sheets with Bruce. He's done very well coming in after a long layoff. And then, of course, the back four, uh, we've changed here and there. Not because we, we needed to, but because we had injuries. And uh, remember, Dav went to the AFCON, came back. Slanty got four yellow cards. So we, we've changed that a little bit. But uh, in saying that, yeah, we've been working 
very, very hard on our, on our finishing since the net bank 20 misses, <laughs> if we can say that. But uh, we've been working hard. We always try and work hard on, on, on that area as well. Besides defending, we also try and work hard on, 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 on finishing. And uh, that's, that's what we like to do, is work hard on the overall uh, approach of the game. Coach, um, how tricky becomes follow Steven also the situation for the lad of the follow? And what normal say is the chance of being away from, from how they look in the distance? Very tricky, my friend. Very, very tricky. Uh, we, we, we've learned a, a hard, hard lesson and uh, not to look at other teams. But uh, you cannot not look at your opposition and, and, uh, and not taking a lot of things that have happened in, 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 in their camp. But at Kaiser Chiefs, the biggest lesson we've learned is that don't underestimate football. And that just happened to us in the past weekend. But it's always like that at Kaiser Chiefs. Don't underestimate your opposition because your opposition always comes 200% more ready than Kaiser Chiefs. And that's, that's the good thing about playing for Kaiser Chiefs and uh, working with Kaiser Chiefs. Ntantwane and, um, and uh, a player like Sitebe have not seen action for quite some time. And the body language, even when you look at them, it says we're not actually, you know, um, up in terms of spirit. What's happening to them, Coach Captain? Honest opinion. Um, Tansan has just come back from an injury, so he's still he's still coming back. Uh, Siteba, I, I I don't think I have a problem with Siteba. He's just waiting his turn. I've I've worked with Siteba before. He's a very very positive person on the pitch and off. Two dubs in a row means a lot to you. That the pressure keeps on mounting, coach. There's no trophy comes with winning any of this match, but breaking rights. How are you preparing mentally? All these players looking at the state of affairs that have just been happening at Kaiser Chiefs. Yeah, we're looking at it very positively, and we know that it's it's two derbies. This the Saturday is is one of them, and uh, probably the next following Saturday is the other one. But uh, playing against Morocco Swallows is the first one, and we, we at Kaiser Chiefs is at the moment. We look at it only one game at a time. We got to put our put our feet up, put our hands up, put our heads up, and uh, we're going to do our go out there and do the best we can against Morocco Swallows. Oh, uh, everybody's available except that uh, Potsani has a has a little hernia injury. Uh, George is still out; he's recovering from operations. Uh, Titi's still recovering. Uh, who else? Uh, that's about it. The, the positive thing that comes out of this whole thing, coach, is that even though the fans were dejected, but the fans still say. This is our Kaiser Chiefs. We go forward with it. That must be a good spirit that you see uh, a portion of the fans saying it happens anywhere. We're not the best ones, but looking forward, we want to stay with the team and stick with the team. You know how much we appreciate those type of people because that, those are football people. But because I'll pay more, yeah, coach. Hey, but because I'll pay more. Yeah. <laughs> no, but like I said, those people, some of our fans, are real, real football people, and they've been supporting the team for a very long, long, long time. So they know the ups and downs of this particular team. And uh, maybe we're going into a down, but it has to rise somewhere. Somewhere it has to rise. Uh, we were not a democracy for more than 60, 70 years. But now that we are democracy, we have to fall and we have to rise. So we will rise. Rise, coach. Thank you, guys. Rise, coach. Rise. Thank <laughs> you.